Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 20 of my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. So we're going to take a little bit of food with us as well. Nothing much. We've got to try and get out of this fucking building. We are so stuck in here because of the amount of zombies that are hanging out. It's ridiculous. I don't... It's low. Next one down. We just need to try and get out of here. Look at all these corpses, dude. Did I search all these? Looks like I got them all. Okay. This is really bad. I can't think I... Oh, a gun. Oh, it's actually better than my pistol. Fuck yeah. Would not want to shoot it in this area. Alright, I need to make sure we can get back up when we come in here. Okay, because we got, we got a lot of shit hanging out around here. We also really want to try and get some feathers and stuff um, to make some more arrows. I would love to get a forge done, which is what I should be working towards as well, is a forge. Oh shit, it's a cop. We gotta dodge his vomit. Try and hit this motherfucker as many times as we can before he vomits. Maybe if I'm directly behind him, he can't hit me with the vomit. Because he can definitely turn when I'm to the side of him. But I don't know whether he can... Oh, God. There he goes. What have we got here? Crushed sand. Iron. Hell yeah. Some small stones. Sorry, my phone... Um... My phone notifications are on. I apologise for that. Alright. We get this baby killed. Get her knocked to the ground. And it's Kaplowy. Oh yes, more wellness. Oh shit, dog. Sweet. Alright, sorry if you can hear my kids screaming in the background. They're a little bit excited because we're, after I finish recording this and stuff, we're going to be going to the zoo. So they're super, super excited to go to the zoo. Alright, let's see. Oh, fuck me, that's a bear. Well, that's not... That's not, uh... The greatest thing I've ever seen right now. I, I don't see how me shooting him in the head knocked his arm off, but okay. Seven days to die physics at work. Whatever. Let's see. There's a lot. Oh, shit. I hate how it doesn't just re-auto equip it into the same hotbar slot. That will get you killed if you accidentally misclick. Potentially. At least potentially get you killed. We should take these increase our wellness as well. Our wellness is getting up there. We've what have we added? I think I got down to 73 at one point. This spider zombie, he's okay. He's not too much trouble. We've got a working stiff tools. That is what we want. Alright, spider zombies. I'm starting to run out of arrows though. That's the major issue here. Ah, oh, fuck, he got me. What the fuck are you doing? How much fucking health do you have? I'm hitting you with a level 200 club. Okay. Need to get some of these guys taken out. I kind of want to save the arrows in case a dog comes up on my ass. Because I don't want to be fighting dogs with the club. Probably probably wouldn't be good. Although, I know that'll kill her. But we got a few we got to worry about. I mean, 
If I'm being smart about this, we really should go back to my old shit. 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 Crap. Fuck me. Oh, fuck it. Oh my god. I can't afford to waste arrows. I really can't. I'm not using the gun. Screw you. Yeah, I really... Alright, he's just gonna be... He's just gonna be chilling up where, upright, okay? Oh, God. Nah. We have, we have to really get back to the base. A fucking long walk, though. We have to really get back to the base and try and get all, like, a bunch of stuff brought back here. Although, is there anywhere I could get feathers from in this area? Maybe out there? Maybe out this end of town in the snow would probably be a good spot to find feathers. Would be my best guess. We need food. We've got plenty in there. Alright. We don't need food or water right now either. Which is good. Yeah, I'd say out, out here in the snow would give us a fair chance of finding some feathers for some arrows. It's somewhat easy to spot. Wow, he... What the fuck did he just do? He did a front flip. He did a front flip. The only thing I have to worry about he out here is lumberjack zombies mainly. I hope. There's a burning zombie out in the winter biome. That makes sense. Right, we really, really, really need to find some bird's nests. And get our feathers up. There we go. Is one. Speaking of lumberjack zombies, like we've we've probably got about five hundred feathers back at the base. I wish I'd thought about that before I came over here. But then I also forget. Like the run, I guess, isn't the worst, but it's still a fair distance. There should be an umbrella you can get. You just run around with a bow out and an umbrella in your other hand. Like the desert would clearly be the best place to go, just simply because of how real easy it is to spot them. I see one. What do we got? 28. 28 more arrows. It's not as many as I would like though. I guess we can see what's up this path. That could be cool to check out. Got to run past the uh, bee infested zombies though. Oh god, can I even get up here? No, you fucking dick game. You're, you're a fucking dick of a game. Do you see that? It fucking stops me just as I get up to the zombie. What is this path, dude? What even kind of path is this? Now, really, I hate how around the big cities they build these giant fucking walls. Oh, God. Oh, God. That you can't get up properly? Seems kind of dumb to me. Just makes for a really annoying time to do anything. Maybe what we can do is we can head this way and see what's in this direction. Oh, uh, trust me. I'm sure... You guys and girls will spot bird's nests that I miss. That's just, uh... That's just gonna be the way it is. It happens every time. When you're recording, for some reason, your, your attention isn't always drawn... Um, to the right areas. I don't know whether it's just because, you know, you're concentrating on talking or what, but sometimes you can easily miss stuff that's super obvious to everybody else. 
So if I do miss bird's nest on my run, I apologize, but hopefully I'll get enough to sustain us. Okay, we can't sprint too much. Now we've got no arrows, so if we come across a dog, we're in a bit of trouble. We're gonna have to hand-to-hand -hand combat that motherfucker, and I'm not excited for that prospect. Hello. I've got... Get some of that. And we also got to remember, we've got a bear right near our apartment building. At some point, we're going to have to take care of that guy and try and get rid of him, because otherwise we're going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble. Oh, we can get more arrows crafted up. I mean, I guess I could just keep getting this. At least wait until I break it to get the bonus. I know these aren't the best stones to break because they're... Um, I don't think they output as much. I think they're only one per and these are two per or something. I don't really know whether there's there's certain ones that are better. I don't remember. Whether that's a thing. I think it is though. Okay, let's see. Oh, what are we out of feathers? Okay, that's, that's good. No, we're not. Okay. Now we are. We'll have... Plenty of arrows for our bow for this moment. While we're making this run. Is that a second working skiff tools? If that's what that is, that's fucking brilliant. Cracker book. Working skiff tools. Now... I'm thinking Cracker Book's probably the better one to get at the moment to see what to see if we can get any decent books. Because, um, like I said, every time I check a bookshelf, I never seem to get books. It's just something that doesn't happen very often for me, and it's very frustrating. <laughs> oh god! There you go. Okay, we need to just get rid of stuff that's not essential right now. We can scrap those, we can scrap that, we can scrap that, we can get rid of that, rid of that. Okay, clears up some inventory space. Now we gotta scrap those again. Okay. We're gonna have plenty of brass, there's no problem with that. I mean, I guess if I ever wanna make my own ammo, I'm gonna be fucking Gucci on that. Let's get in here. Alright. Okay, let's start let's start from this end. Like this is what I always do. I go from this end. Normally actually I check front and back. Sounds like a burning zombie. Are you fucking kidding me. Of all the zombies to come to this place, a fucking lumberjack zombie? You gotta be shitting me. I'm stuck on shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanna loop around. I wanna quickly read the schematics for these. Is he breaking the bookshelves? You fucking twat. You are actually a piece of baloney. You absolute moron. Yeah, I'm stuck. Holy shit, this guy takes way too many hits. There we go. Okay. What ones haven't I checked? Oh, I'm not checking the bottoms like an idiot. Oh shit, fuck me. And he broke one of them too, the twat. Okay, just had paper in it, I guess. Man, would the comments section be mad at me for not checking the bottoms of the bookcases. I forget that there's uh, two parts to every bookcase. And it's not just one complete thing. Okay, did I get them all? Yeah, it looks like I it looks like I got all the bottom ones. Got more homies coming. 
I really would just like to to not have to fight them in here and just to kind of dodge around them if I can. Just kind of kite around them. This cracker book was a great thing to get. Absolutely brilliant thing to, to get. We just need to take print screen. Sorry if that's like super annoying, but I had to I had to get a screenshot for the thumbnail. What the fuck is up with these guys? Are they okay? They're definitely not okay. They don't know what they're doing. Alright. Let's see what we got. Iron helmet schematic. I think I've already got that. Sniper rifle schematic. That's fucking good shit. Oh, we got a sniper rifle schematic. We've got a chainsaw schematic. Looks like we've got the auger schematic as well. Iron gloves. We could nearly make full iron armor with all the stuff we've gotten out of this, I believe, because we already had the helmet. Oh, and the crossbow. Good stuff. I don't know. I don't know what's better, honestly. The crossbow or the bow. I used to always make the crossbow, but I don't know whether it's worth it. But anyway, guys and girls, that's all i got time for in this episode. I'm going to go take my kids to the zoo and enjoy the day. If you liked this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.